opening soon follows the true story of a restaurateur's vision from concept to opening night. Wild Rice. Way back when, a year ago, I wanted to open a little funky Chinese joint with an ambient feel and catering to a more diverse clientele as far as uh, outside the realm of just a, a Chinese clientele. This is a nice pocket to put a restaurant here right now, for sure. Uh, rolling into the day here. Just want to share with you in regards to Van Sevek. Hi, Julian. It's Terry. How are you? Everybody has their own idea. Somebody thinks that the wall should be built out this way because that's the way they picture it. But that's not in, in your picture. So you've got to work with everybody and hope. Andrew and I met through the last job that I had. He approached me with this concept of the modern Chinese cuisine, which I found to be uh, like a challenge for me, which I always like to have a challenge, you know, otherwise get bored really quickly. It was something that I, that I had toyed around with in different restaurants that I've worked with in the past. I started to read up on it, was really intrigued. I started to learn about the Chinese culture. I'm doing it because I'm excited about the project. I've got an old picture of the neighborhood where we're gonna be doing business in. This is the origin of Chinatown right here, these three blocks. It's where the community was built way back when. My grandfather did business in there for 12 years. There's the Lotus Hotel, and that's the hotel my grandfather used to own. He was one of the first uh, property owners back when you could own property as a, as a Chinese Canadian. In that hotel, it's kind of where our family starts in, in the city. And it's gone full circle. All of a sudden, plopped right next to his old building, about to do business in the old Shelley building. And it's just kind of neat. I'm an artist, I'm a painter. Uh, I have a background in art school. And I have always wanted to do a project like this. I did the design around the space. Big, tall windows in the high ceilings in the narrow space. It was a New York space, and the windows gave it an energy. I said, I want a mezzanine in the front. I want it to be curved, curved stairways coming down, and I want a curved mezzanine in the back with stairways coming forward and a long, curved bar. It's like a large painting, only much more complex. A painting usually takes me a couple of days, whereas this has taken a year. To enjoy a cup of tea, you look, uh, you, you know, you get the smell, the aroma. Oh, so you use tea for to cook on the, on the menu items exactly. This this tea here, the uh -huh. lapsang soup. Well, the uh, the Japanese. Thank you. The, uh, <laughs> we're using it with a duck dish. So what kind of uh, food are you serving in the... Uh, Chinese. Chinese? Modern Chinese food. We're, do, we're, do, we're going to do a lot of influence from uh, Yunnan, uh -huh. because the Yunnan's got all the different uh, ethnic uh, groups down there, like the, the, the Dai who've come up from Thailand, and the Hui, the Muslim. So there's uh -huh. lots of different kinds of food, you know? Stu, you uh, last year at the restaurant he used to work for, he won the Vancouver Magazine Award for Most Innovative Menu. So. So I'm trying to translate some of that. I'm still learning, you know? So this is my chicken scratch of how this is all panning out. After the framing inspection happens, drywall can start. Tape, fill, all that takes about four days. So after that happens, these guys can start moving in the hoods and the ecologizer in the kitchen. The levy is ready. Uh, he and I worked together way back when. He actually taught me how to bartend. He called me up, said, you free for an hour? Took me down here, walked me through the area and the space. I go with my gut, and my gut got really excited. So I said, sure, you know, I'm. this is what I want. I've known I've wanted to do this for 15 years. I'm tired of making money for other people, so. I've known Andrew for about 22 years now, and we went to elementary school together, and uh, 
Uh, I trust them a lot. And uh, it's a different type of money in the, the economy right now. It's a lot tougher now than it was, say, a year and a half, two years ago. Today was supposed to be an electric inspection. I don't have confirmation on that happening at all. Ramin said he was going to call his plumbing inspection tomorrow morning, and then Julian was going to call his framing inspection on Monday. At that point, it turns into a beehive, like everybody working, tons of people working all the time. Uh, what you see, so when you put these together, you get this, and you imagine you have four of them. They all have that. Actually, this is black walnut, isn't it? Gray, it's gray stained oak. Oh, okay, but it'll go quite nicely with the uh, walnut. So what is, yeah, you can sit on them too. Yes. Let's see the plate. Yeah, this is something I just found. Let's see what you think of this. Ooh, that's, that's sexy. Those ones there I'm not so big on, but this one's not bad. Oh, that one I like. One. Yeah. So this matches exactly the white one that we picked up, right? Matches this perfectly too. I really like that. That's much more. We've got a series of four. And there's gonna be one that's an odd color. They were Paris. very unique. We had to get them. See, it's a happy day. So you guys haven't seen this in a few days, but this is kind of what's happened now. We got the stairs moved back, that two feet, because of the clearance problem. And all we did was take out part of the mez, push the stairs in. I got bad news, too. Uh, this uh, original projection of the 15th, 21st, these dates we're talking, they're not happening. They're not going to happen. Okay. Fault on our end or their end? from like the hoods, from the plumbing, from the lighting, from all these things that are just in shipment. They're, they're, we're, we're not, we're not, we don't have a restaurant before August at this point. The design of the dragon actually is a combination of a vision that Terry had one night, she just kind of woke up and uh, started drawing this uh, dragon. Terry's a painter, but she does drawing as well. And it was this really vivid, like obscure, colorful picture of this dragon with uh, reds, ambers, and magentas, and yellows in it. And, and I said, you know, that's beautiful. Mike from my volleyball team, actually, is, uh, is the glass artist behind it. It's a difficult it, cut. It's, You've got it's to a press difficult. Like, yeah. If yeah. you press too hard, it breaks. If you press too soft, it doesn't. What I found was with the two foot by four foot sections of glass, it was just too flimsy. I'm about as east west as it gets, and uh, everything ties in. The dragon is east west in every sense of the way because King Arthur had to slay the dragon, and uh, the Chinese culture has this dragon. Two cultures from uh, different sides of the world both have this same mythological beast. It's, uh, it's, it's exactly where East meets West. It's getting to be one piece now. Yeah. But all the, uh, squat your eyes when you look. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. 
it's crunch time, and it's uh, th th there's really no room for error anymore. So. When all is said and done, I'll probably be in for you know 50. My entire life savings. So, to a lot of people, that's not a lot of money. To me, that's a hell of a lot of money. The, the bottom line is uh, a loan is uh, something that gives us a, a, a good credit rating because we take the loan, we, we, we pay it back, and uh, we're, we're, we're bonus. We're like uh, we're, we're, we're best friends with the bank all of a sudden. Uh, they usually look in terms of house or something tangible like expensive car. They just want to know if anything goes sideways, do I have someone to hold by the cajones? Wild Rice is located in the Chinatown section of Vancouver, British Columbia, on Canada's rugged west coast. Vancouver's Chinatown is one of the largest in North America, second only to San Francisco. Wild Rice is open seven days a week. Hours of operation are from 11.30 a.m. to 1 a.m. On weekends, dim sum is served from 11.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. Wild Rice serves dairy-free modern Chinese food from wonton soup to roasted elk. Appetizers cost between $4 and $10. Main dishes are $11 to $19, and dim sum varieties are $3 to $9. The signature dish is the shiitake dusted beef tenderloin. It consists of AAA Canadian beef, charred rare, and served with cloud ear mushrooms, Chinese spinach, and sticky rice cakes. The price, $16. have a misconceptions about Chinese cuisine, right? Especially North American style. Well, this is what I want. I want to step aside from the Chinese restaurant, the big group platters and whatnot. And I think that's a very social way to eat, but like this modern style we're doing, with the bar, the martinis, the nice wines and all that, I want it's people... completely to, different I got, I got 10 stools on the bar. I want people to sit on them. You know, it's funny, I know what everything looks like on the inside because of the cooking, right? But yeah. I just... I never went to the market the, with uh, Slices of the winter melon there. What do you call this? What is this called? Okay. All right. All righty. Little pea shoots. See little curly pea shoots, eh? Good for stir frying. Thank you. I'm having a clue what ginkgo ba is. It's a. It's like a medicinal uh, root that's uh, it's supposed to help your memory. It's a root as well. I saw a package in the store the other day. It said ginkgo buff from memory. Yeah, there you go. Literally. We'll be using those a couple different places on the menu. It's not so much for flavor. It's more to give the medicinal broth, right? Okay. Same with the ginseng, right? Yeah, that's my dad. Your dad's here. Do you want to see inside? Yeah. So this is the space. There's not too many workers here, so we can actually go right through. Well, his father was a waiter for 25 years. His father used to come home at, from work, and he would spend like an hour at the end of each shift counting out his money and carefully putting it in little packages and and Andrew used to stay up late so that he could watch his dad do this. Tom's gonna bartend. I'll take the maitre d' spot and, uh, and be the utility person. So we'll run the place with like uh, two waiters. I made a mistake here. It's quite obvious now that we don't have any knowledge of opening a restaurant. We heard the news that we weren't going to get a loan from the bank. We had to go to the folks and say, look, this is our situation. We're too far into it to go back now. We need your help. Terry's parents came in. They're in for like 25 grand now. And they've also, also offered us a loan as well. Tom's got uh, 30 personally. 
and then his parents are in for 10, but they also gave us a loan for 75 grand. You know, we've all maxed out all our credit lines, we've maxed out our credit cards. There's a third of the kitchen has been bought on my four credit cards. It's just a lot of money. Yep. Hey, there's the dragon. Oh. <laughs> An abstract representation of rice. Oh, so, huh? that's rice. Oh, I see. Wow, too. <laughs> I'm gonna put in a lot of stuff. But you want to see what they did to Grandpa's hotel? No. Hey, Next door. The whole revitalization. Do you remember any of this? No, there's nothing like this around here. They kept the same bar. Hi. This is my dad. His father used to own this hotel. Nice to meet you. He hasn't seen it since a child. <laughs> so I said that it's going to look a lot different. Everything's just been refurbished. A lot of things have been refurbished. A lot of things have been made new, too. Yeah, what she did with those tables, she yeah. took fabric and then she put epoxy on top of it. Tick, 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 tick. And every day you can't open, every day you can't take customers, every day you're not ready to, to you know, do business. So we're behind. <laughs> like, we're really behind. Andrew will be the first guy to tell you I've been on the payroll now for almost about two and a half months, unfortunately, because of the fact that we were supposed to open on uh, July 1st. These guys are looking to recoup some cash as quickly as possible. Originally, we are supposed to have a three weeks before we started the lunch menu, run the dinner menu for three weeks, work out the bugs. He wants a dinner menu or lunch menu now on Wednesday. So that's like three days. So it went from three weeks to like three days which isn't really uh, ideal at all, but whatever, he's a boss. That's good. I've had a knot in my gut for like six months. And now that this day is upon us, unreal relief. I guess it's gone full circle now. It's kind of neat to be doing business on the edge of Chinatown. That's where my grandfather started in the city, right next door. We're gonna keep hammering out the, uh, the Kung Pao. Should be able to do about another three trays of those. I've learned more about my own culture in this last year than I've ever known all my life. We've done some good things with food, and uh, Vancouver's, Vancouver's gonna eat it up. I'm, I'm positive.
Find more at fineliving.com. Real information for real people.